question, especially in the black community, as you're probably well aware, that, that people were saying, well, why was he telling this woman to be like Greta Scott King and, and Michelle Obama? It was me trying to give an analogy of, of what it is I'm aspiring to be, you know, these great men, Martin, President Obama, um, and trying to give a reference point to that. One of the things I also say is like, I need her, in that case, Grace, to make the same sacrifices that I am making. My shit, my trauma, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm not saying I'm a great man, a great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my, for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. That's real. I'm not being a dick about it. I didn't ask for it. I've worked, and that's the situation. The woman that supports me, that I support, that, work, that needs to be a great woman and make sacrifices the way that man is making for her and for them, ultimately. Last night, you, two nights ago, you did not do that. You did not do that. I'm sorry. Which, which took away from the plan. And the plan is everything. <laughs> If it was just you in the house drunk, maybe I could have swallowed it. Or, or, or I would have been bold like, oh, hey, let's go to bed. Through it all, Major's new girlfriend, actress Megan Good, has remained by his side, even present for our interview. How would you describe your relationship? Well, she's an angel. She's held me down like, like, like a, like a, like a Coretta, you know? I'm so blessed to have her, you know. The relationship is still fresh, but you know, I think I, I found her. There's some weird stuff going on in Hollywood, man. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and dive into it, man. <laughs> Who was that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Can't man. Can't believe anything anymore, man. Can't believe anything. It's, it's just that we was just talking about a different Jonathan last week, right? And how he wasn't singing her praises and he was doling her light and everything else under the sun. Meanwhile, this week we have a different Jonathan Majors who did sing the light of his woman, who did say she was an angel to him, who did say she was the she was the wind and everything else and the tribe I love and all the light and they still still got criticized for it. They still had something negative to say about a man that sat and went through the crucible because we've all seen this video. And I can say for the most part, for the vast majority of black folks, we've seen that and said, yeah, Jonathan Majors didn't really do anything in that situation. Right? And this is including women because I've seen, even seen women, black women like, yeah, nah, that didn't go. That, that woman Jabari was on one. And even then, when he started singing the praises of Megan Good and how she's been a, I don't want to say a rock for him, but shit, call it what you want, y'all still criticized him. Nah, you, that video was kind of suspect, man. It felt like you was being fake. I don't think you was being genuine when you said that. Two different Jonathans, two different situations, same results. That's a very keen observation, Sweeney. Putting it all together, that's it, it's basically men can't win. I'm still on the fence as if these interviews for men in general, not even just black men, if it, if it helps our case or hurts us even further. <laughs> I don't think there's anything black men can do or men in general can do to plead their case against a woman. Not in this time. I think you j we're just born in the wrong era. We live in the wrong era. Um, to this particular thing, um, now there, I've, I've, there are a few things, a few points I want to make on this Coretta Scott King thing. To me, it makes perfect sense. And as a matter of fact, I've said the exact same words he said. The, the, the same damn word. I'm a great man. I said all that shit to my wife once upon a time. I, I really did. I don't see how you explain to a woman your expectations without having those type of intimate conversations. It's really embarrassing that an intimate conversation between 
two people in a relationship had to come out like that because don't lie those those conversations do happen especially in today's age where women prioritize work and they will eventually be like well what do you want from me and you're going to go on that same diatribe that Jonathan Majors went on you're going to tell her exactly who you expect her to be he is a black man why would he be referencing Meryl Streep okay why would he be referencing any other woman other than a black woman he's black so, you know, for people to get on, oh, he need to keep Coretta name out of his mouth. He's black. Black men say Michelle Obama. Black men say Coretta Scott King. We use black women because we grew up black. It, 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 it's the most simple thing to understand. And, you know, for him to say that to a white woman, he's he's just giving um, shedding light on the fact that Coretta Scott King is known by all. It's known that her that her man cheated and that uh, she was receiving death threats at the house and through it all, she held him down. I need you to hold me down like Coretta Scott King did. And, you know, I think he got crucified for that. But for me, it's perfectly understandable. He was supposed to use Hillary Clinton as an example. Hillary to his bill. <laughs> like, and shit. Yo. Yo, but honestly, um, I think it's a good message what, what he was trying to convey, but I think he keep picking the wrong women. That's that's my only thing I got um against what he's doing, right? He's he went from this crazy white girl to now a woman that just got a divorce from a man for no reason. You know what I'm saying? So how can you take her serious? You're not gonna take her to the next level. Now you calling her Coretta. Coretta put in work with Martin, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, Michelle put in work with Obama, um, with Obama, you know, for years. You know what I mean? So, so to compare them, these women to that, you know what I mean? I know he's trying to train her up, but all every woman is not there, man. So you got he he reminds me of that guy that that you know what I mean. You growing up, he only worked on his handles. He never uh, worked on his shot, and then as soon as he got in the game, he was shooting all the threes the whole game. And we like you you didn't practice this, you know? So. He, he has to make sure, you know what I mean, that he's, um, that the, the message, because he has a great message. Brothers, follow this message, but you got to make sure you pick the women. You got to follow through. That's my only gripe with him. I would say to, to Megan Good's defense, in her defense, she did take a lot of strays during this court case. <laughs> she could have walked away out. Like, she took a lot of strays being with him, because they was on her ass, too. When it was about him being with a white woman first, and she was being talking about, oh, you just she he's using you, all the thoughts that were being put in her head at that moment. She took a lot of strays. So for her to actually sit through that when she didn't have to, especially coming out of her divorce, I can say it does say a lot about her to a degree. Now, what she did in her previous marriage, I mean, we can talk about that, but for Sweeney. him, I don't the care. Shit, the shit fake, Sweeney. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Now we're we gonna say that it's all fake. Because this is Hollywood, we can do, we can go with that too. Because right. a lot of shit going yeah, on in Hollywood is bullshit. So she didn't take nothing, man. It's, 